so much for asking this question. I know that there are tons of new fans to Formula One, and this is a common question that I get from my friends. So let's get into it. So this is the Suzuka circuit. It's our next race. I am so excited. Right here on the track are embedded sensors. What they are detecting are the transponder triggers in the cars. So let's say you have one car going down the track. If the second one follows within one second, then that following car may use its DRS in the DRS zone. Now each track has its own different DRS zone, different lengths, different DRS detection points, but the DRS detection point always comes before the DRS zone. Now there are a few things you need to know. DRS is not activated for the first lap of the race. It is also not activated any time that race control decides that the conditions are unsafe. This oftentimes happens when there are really wet conditions. Also, if there's a race restart, the DRS will not be activated until another lap has been completed. For DRS to be activated for a driver, he only needs to be one second behind the car in front of him. It doesn't matter if that car in front is one that he's already lapped or if it's one that he's actively chasing down. So I hope you understand DRS zones now. If you have any more questions about F1, please comment below. And thank you so much to everybody who's been supporting my new channel.